And for our last story, we move to Sudan. A 17-month-long brutal civil war in the North African nation is under the spotlight. At the high-level United Nations General Assembly debate, that begins on Tuesday. World leaders are expected to look at humanitarian support for Sudan. But as deliberations get underway, human rights groups and the people of Sudan want the world to focus on not just one, but multiple catastrophes that they have been hit with. Climate hazards and diseases have worsened the devastation caused by the civil war. Currently, the North African nation is battling a cholera outbreak after facing one of the worst seasonal floods. Our last report gives you all the details. Sudan, a North African country devastated by civil war. The 17-month-long conflict in the country has resulted in deaths, displacement and destruction, plunging the country into one of the worst humanitarian crises. The United Nations says at least 20,000 people have been killed and the staggering 13 million of around 50 million population have been displaced. But recent devastating floods have exacerbated the crisis, worsening the plight of the Sudanese people. As per Sudan's health minister, at least 205 people have been killed due to the floods this year. Critical infrastructure in at least 12 of the country's 18 provinces has been washed away. In the northeastern town of Tokar, flash floods destroyed the main highway to Port Sudan. The city was cut off after the incident and people had to resort to measures like climbing ropes to reach safety. The trucks are stuck and there isn't a way to cross and people are going up and down using ropes. People are affected because of the property they lost and their belongings that were washed away by the flood. They are tired and have nothing. Last month, a crucial dam also collapsed near Port Sudan due to heavy rainfall. The flooding destroyed 20 villages and cost dozens of lives. We lost everything and we could barely rescue our families. The water washed away our farms, vehicles, livestock and crops. It's the worst water flows I've seen in my life. We need the government to rescue people who are still stuck behind the mountain. We need them to dig wells so we can have clean water at least. The floods have also compounded the world's largest displacement crisis. Over 118,000 people have been forced to flee their homes due to this year's floods in Sudan. Damage to agricultural fields has increased the threat of hunger for millions of people. People have no food, they sit on high places and they have nothing, no food or water. There are people who died and have not been buried yet. There are people who are missing. There are collapsed houses and others were swept away by the flood. Deadly diseases following the floods have made matters worse. Cholera cases have surged amid heavy rains. As per the World Health Organization, the bacterial disease has killed more than 300 people in the region. Sudan's health ministry said around 268 new cholera cases have been recorded last week. The authorities declared cholera an epidemic in the country last month. Disasters including flooding leading to dams bursting, disease outbreaks including cholera, malaria, dengue and measles with the risk of mpox, multiple reported incidents of conflict related sexual violence and the near collapse of much of the country's health system an estimated 70 to 80 percent of the health facilities not fully functioning across the country as the country reels from multiple crises the world health organization is urging the world to wake up and help sudan it says additional resources are required to meet their needs Last month, U.S.-led peace talks in Geneva didn't result in a ceasefire. In fact, hopes for a truce have further dimmed after the army chief ruled out participation in any talks. This until the RSF upholds the previous agreements and withdraws from civilian areas.
Though the talks in Switzerland reached some consensus to improve access to humanitarian aid, mediators say a lot more needs to be done for the Sudanese population. As tragedies continue to pile up for the people of Sudan, they are only left with the hopes of peace returning to their country one day.